Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm gonna do the final step of the assembly of the Prusa MK3 printer, uh, the pre-flight check and test everything out and see if I get some magic smoke or, or a successful print. So let's get started after the intro. So let's get started with the tests and uh, see if everything turns on. And we got some uh, menu items. I'm gonna check for smoke and no smoke is visible so I'm good to go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to move the camera to the menu so the first thing I got is to choose English uh, and it says printer has not been calibrated yet uh, please uh, follow the first uh, steps so I'm gonna go into the settings menu and uh, check if everything is uh, working here yeah. and calibration and wizard that's a uh, wizard that is the first thing you should do so here it says hi i'm your original prusa i3 printer would you like to go through the setup process yes piece of paper ready. Uh, first it will uh, run through a self-test. Okay, self-test start. Uh, extruder fan moved, uh, print fan moved. I didn't notice the sound of the extruder fan but the print fan makes a little bit of sound. Uh, but the Noctua fan was pretty much silent. I didn't notice the turn it, I just saw the propellers start. So now it's taking the hot end. The hot end is okay. Now it takes the X axis and it moves the X to the end and uh, to the other end and back again. And stop there and now it's checks the y-axis moves that and it's really silent all the movements it's uh, very low uh, volume of uh, everything now it checks uh, c axis and it uh, didn't uh, check the end stop. Uh, the pinter probe is probably not in a correct, correct place. So, uh, and of course, uh, that's my fault. Uh, the first step of the pre-flight check is to adjust the pinter probe. <laughs> so <laughs> I have to do that. So that's uh, my fault. So I'm gonna adjust this a little bit and, and place the pinter probe in a better position. Uh, tells you to move the extruder manually all the way to the left and uh, move the nozzle until it reaches the heat bed. That's about it. Uh, touching slightly. Uh, just make sure it touches slightly and, and does not bend the heat bed so, so I think that is in a good good place and now uh, move it over to the right side and adjust on this end put it on in the middle and now this tell you to release the screw on the pinta probe and, and move it uh, so it uh, has a place 
for one zip tie and it was quite high so no wonder it didn't work the first time so this is the pinta probe and here's the screw that I have to uh, loosen up a little bit and uh, move down the pinta probe so it uh, goes down to the, the zip tie I think that is in a good place so now I tighten tighten the screw so now uh, now they tell you to uh, what's the new user guide uh, on the Prusa website uh, or the uh, YouTube site and now I believe I can uh, run through the collaboration process again and, and see if everything is, is working better and uh, move this up a little bit and, and see how everything goes show you the monitor uh, yes I want to go through the process so again the extruder fan is rotating now the part cooling fan and now see if the C axis pin the probe is working and that worked and now it heats a bit so now it's testing the bed and I can feel the bed is is hot so that should uh, get to a certain temperature and filament sensor okay everything is correct Okay, now I've got a uh, YouTube message saying uh, uh, Makers Muse Angus will do a live stream of assembling the MK3 printer. So <laughs> I hope, hopefully, I will be done with this video so I can watch this stream. And, and, uh, that will be interesting to see how it goes. Uh, uh, now it asks for the steel sheet and it's not on the heat bed. Uh, take the nozzle, there's nothing on the nozzle. Uh, place a sheet of paper. So now it will uh, search the calibration points. And, uh, when I got the MK2S printer, I wasn't paying attention and uh, uh, the pinta probe was not in a good place and uh, on one of the points the, the nozzle uh, went into the PI sheet and made a dent in the PI sheet that is still visible in it so uh, they tell you that you have to have this piece of paper and should move the piece uh, during this test to see if it catches on and, and be prepared to turn off the printer uh, if if the paper is getting stuck, so I might have to reach over uh, to turn off the printer if something is misaligned. But now with the uh, extrusions, uh, I think it's very difficult to to get the printer not squared up correctly. Uh, with the uh, threaded rods, it was uh, always a challenge to get everything aligned. This will uh, take uh, nine minutes, I think. So everything is good so far. Now it finished this part. I'm not sure if you're supposed to have the paper all the time enters. But just gonna have it to be sure. Finished the 
calibration. Now it tells me to place the steel sheet on the bed. Okay, and that is okay. Now it will do a nine point calibration. Now uh, they say the calibration is okay and the axes are uh, correct. Congratulations. It's asked me if filament is loaded. I say no. Uh, now it will preheat. Just put on the, on the Prusa filament that came with the printer. Uh, just going to use that uh, for the test print because the sliced uh, test prints on the cart are uh, for this filament. Now insert the PLA. Now it's loaded, loading the filament. Now uh, so filament is starting to get through and now the say it will calibrate the distance uh, from the nozzle to the heat bed surface and now it will print a line and then uh, you can adjust the, the C height the live C adjustment I'm just adjusting the C height uh, as I go. Uh, I think around 550 is uh, working okay. And I turn on the filament sensor. Cross detection is on. Uh, do you want to repeat the last step? No. Uh, uh, this is working quite well. I think I have a good, uh, good first layer, and all is done. Happy printing. So now uh, gonna just clean the bed and uh, print a file from the SD card. Just gonna use one of the wipes that was included. We included two alcohol wipes. So gonna print from SD. I'm going to do uh, the Prusa logo, that's a 90 minute, 19 minute print. So I'm uh, going to just have a time lapse of that print go through. So now the first print is done, I'm just going to get that off the build plate. Uh, now with a magnetic bed you can just take that off and, and bend it and uh, the print comes off. It's really, really easy. And you can see the, the bottom layer. It's uh, pretty much perfect. Just, you can see the light reflecting on it, and the print is just awesome. So this is uh, working correctly, and I can say that I've uh, successfully built the printer. So the first print uh, went great. Uh, it was uh, a perfect print. The first layer is excellent and everything is just working very well. Uh, I'm gonna 
print some more and uh, do some testing but uh, this will conclude the build series uh, the build uh, was really uh, good there was no major problems in any any aspect of the build there was some minor uh, uh, nonsense getting some nuts to stick or or some minor uh, issues like that but uh, nothing to uh, complain about so I'm really happy with uh, the build quality of all the parts there was no uh, parts that I needed to trim uh, any XX plastic off or anything like that so everything just worked as it should have so I'm really happy with the quality of everything I got so uh, for now I thank you for watching I will uh, do a uh, video on testing the new features, the safety features and the sensor, filament sensor and, and all those features people have been testing. I'll do a separate video on that at, at some point but uh, now I want to uh, finish editing this video series and, and get those out to YouTube. So for now uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one.